supplies that I have purchased from Amazon and there is a very big purchase that I made it was very expensive but you will see that probably you can get some hint from here yeah so let's get into the video so to begin with I bought this fine tip pen and some white gel pens so I have seen so many people using this in their uh, marker video so I'll use that too and this is the biggest thing that i have bought it is very costly it is around 6000 inr which is indian rupees and this probably is the costliest purchase that i have made it's so oh, oh, oh. i hope i'm pronouncing it correct so these are alcohol based markers and it is 120 marker set so you'll get 120 shades i don't know if everyone will need this much so depends on your uh, requirement so i bought this 120 because it look aesthetic it look really nice to the eyes and they have given this sheet of paper which you can keep uh, between your uh, sketchbook pages so it won't bleed through then they have given some swatch uh, sheets also so this is their booklet where you can see uh, the colors are given the swatches are given but those are different from what you will see on this uh, swatch cards so they have given two swatch cards color swatch one and there's color swatch two so i'll be swatching all the colors and uh, you can see once they are dried how the color comes uh, on the paper so let's get started So they have dual tip, one is the brush tip and the other one is the, the chisel tip or we can say broad tip. So I'll be using this broad tip because I have seen so many people using this because this covers most of the area but uh, this wasn't easy to use as you can see I was struggling with it as well. Then yeah this pastel yellow was really creamy color you can say even the sunflower is a very nice uh, yellow shade yeah this one was a really nice orangish muted color and i'm really sorry you can see in the corner the swatches are not visible to you uh, but this is first time editing this video and shooting all shooting this video and all so please bear with me next time i'll make it better yeah this dull yellow is not at all yellow so i don't know why they have given uh, the shade name as dull yellow yeah this brown gray was uh, not gray I like most of the colors but there are certain colors which are different uh, than what it is given on the brush or the marker tip like the outer side of the tip of the marker so make sure to swatch this and keep the swatches ready because if you have 120 or you know that their 320 marker set it will be really difficult for you to find the a color that you want Yes, I was trying this brush tip also and it went smoothly. It was really nice to blend out the colors and the colors were spreading evenly.
now you'll see what i was uh, talking about the tip the marker tip has a different color and the chisel tip whatever the color you're seeing inside is different yeah and it's a total different story on the swatch card some muted colors here and there the vibrant colors are really really nice to look at and even if you see this color this one was really nice one this is one of my favorite colors yeah and this vivid purple is amazing so you'll get so many shades of red purples very muted colors also and here if you see i made a mistake and then i swatch a different color now i'm swatch swatching a bright color underneath it is very important to swatch right color so we'll start with the second color swatch sheet and yeah, this one will have more greens and grays you will see a lot of gray shades which are not really necessary but if you run out of one of the shade then you can replace it with other because those are quite similar yeah so i'm just randomly picking the marker and you know make, uh, making the swatch because i was finding it really hard to find a marker in the set you can see some colors are very light so you have to layer it out you have to see like couple of times once the base color is dried then you have to layer it up again to see the actual color yeah so mostly green colors they are nice to the eyes Uh, this color was really nice i liked it very muted green it has hints of uh, teal green and i don't know so many so many tints you see some of uh, the swatches are not uh, you know blended well because i wasn't putting enough uh, color onto the paper so make sure that you are using enough color so that it will spread itself and it will be a smooth blend as i was saying there are so many gray shades don't need these many three or four shades are enough and there you go so this is the swatch one it is a very nice vibrant colors and a variety of colors you will see greens are also so many so here i just started arranging it because i didn't like the way it was arranged so i just uh, tried to group the colors uh, not as per the swatches but as per the uh, outer side of the tip of the marker so i just started arranging it till it look pleasant enough and sorted enough Yeah, so this is a sketchbook that I'll be using. This is also I have purchased from Amazon. All the links of all the material I'll be uh, adding into the description. 
so please make sure to go through those yeah of course some of these are costly so please make sure that you are buying whatever you like and there are some cheap uh, alternatives also okay so this is the one that i'll be recreating this is from amian art i hope i'm pronouncing it right but uh, this is what she is doing she used the alcohol markers here and a fine tip pen so i'll just try this out on my own of course i won't be explaining every step because for that you have to visit her channel and watch her video i'm just sketching the outline a rough sketch because then i'll be going with the fine tip pen and then uh, doing the outlines again So I'm trying to follow whatever uh, the video tutorial was and it was really easy to follow it along. She made it easy to follow along and it was a really nice tutorial. There are so many other videos also where she's trying the alcohol markers and creating wonderful and beautiful uh, drawings, paintings. Now I'm erasing everything because I don't want the pencil or mark uh, pencil marks to be shown. So once I erased everything, I went through the swatches again. I tried to find out other colors that uh, were used in the tutorial. So here I'm just laying down the colors, and you'll see how it is blending together. Oops! I went outside of the lines but uh, that is because the chisel tip is very difficult to use but once you get a hang of it it will be very useful adding more and more shades of green Now the blending of your color uh, depends on the paper also that you are using. The one that I am using doesn't have a thick paper. It will, it will be like a medium thick paper we can say. So Ohu uh, also gives you the sketchbooks which they, uh, which are there for the alcohol marker specifically. So you can go and check that out as well. And you will get everything on the Amazon. see if you can see i have just used three shades of gray so you don't need more than three or four shades of you know each color Yeah, so this is the final piece i used a, a white gel pen also to give some highlights and now you see this is very nicely uh, saturated colors and now i'll be trying another uh, plant that she made in the tutorial so just layering down all the colors adding some darker values here and there and then these are the brown colors that we have 
browns are not that vibrant i'll say but there are many shades so you have to pick whatever is uh, required as required as per your drawing now i'll be using the yellow shade just to give some variety in the drawing and now uh, i'll be lining uh, with the markers some highlights here and there yeah so there you go this was the whole video and i like the markers very much so definitely i'll be using this you can also give it a try thanks for watching the video see you next time